Who are you? Who do you think is going to break out this spring, Jason? Who do you think has a breakout type spring? Because there's always a player like Trayshawn Ward right. was one right. last year. Who do you so. Think? In a way, because I do think it's going to be him, and another way, mostly to set Mark off, because I do it so well here with Mark Rogers TV, the voice so. of college football. We get the grenade. Even the glasses came off too. Yes, I'm ready I, to fight. Seriously, I think it's gonna be Jordan Travis. I don't think Jordan Travis is going to be the next Jameis Winston, the next Charlie Ward, <laughs> the next Chris Winkie. But I think both with what we talked about, I think the increase in talent in the wide receiver room. I think the returns are running back. I think he's going to have a better grip on the offense. I think you're going to see a lot more of a passing Jordan Travis. Do I think it's going to be enough to keep a, a quarterback transfer out of the program? No, I think he, a transfer will come in after spring football. But I think he is, you're going to see a vast improvement from him, both from his, his own talent and the talent around him. Can I set the record straight on go. Jordan Travis and yes. my perspective on this whole quarterback situation? Okay. See, I told Let's you, understand I knew this. this was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I don't understand. Right. Because Jason is is consistently spewing negativity that, it, that, that we expected out of him. I say one thing that is not completely positive, and Jason has spun it as me dissing Jordan Travis. Here's my take on Jordan Travis. Again. Based on what he showed us in 2020, mm -hmm. I was very, not critical of him necessarily, but just basically my evaluation was if he does not improve considerably, mm -hmm. he's not a power five quarterback mm -hmm. based on those nine games that I watched. And I just didn't think that he had the passing skills unless he improved mm -hmm. dramatically. Okay. I would say that he has improved Dramatically, you can see that by the play on the field. You can see that by the numbers. The completion percentage skyrocketed from a, what it was. Like he was like a fifty percent passer, shot up to like sixty three percent last year. A much better player at the position, and he doesn't have to be the passer that some quarterbacks have to be to be just as effective because he's one of the top five running quarterbacks in college football. He's he's an exceptional athlete, and he brings that dimension that very few do. So my current evaluation of him is more like he's gone from no way should he be the starting quarterback at Florida State to he's a good quarterback. He's a decent quarterback. I don't think he's upper echelon in the conference as it stands right now. And I do think that the ACC has better quarterback play, at least it did last season, than any, quarter, than any conference in the nation. And I don't disagree with you on that. And if you remember what I literally just said, I do agree with you that I think a transfer, a grad, or excuse me, not a grad transfer, a quarterback transfer is going to come in after the spring. I, do we know who it is yet? No, but I think Florida State will go after a transfer because I don't think Jordan is going to be lights out the greatest quarterback in the ACC, but I think he will improve enough to solidify the fact that he is going to be the starting quarterback come the Duquesne game on August 27th. 